Happy Sunday, Pine Belt. I hope your weekend treated you well. It was nice. It was a nice weekend. It's still on the warm side. That hasn't changed a whole lot. But at the end of the day, we can see a little bit of a cool off in sight. We'll have to wait a few days, but just maybe it'll happen, right? That would be nice, especially now we have shorter days. We're making our way towards Christmas, Thanksgiving, all of those cooler weather holidays. If we get at least a little bit more of the holiday-esque feels with the summer the temperature, it'll make things just right if I do say so myself. All right, speaking of temperatures though, the folks, at, the folks at Pine Belt Honda and Pine Belt Jeep Ram over there west of Hattiesburg, they are at 82 degrees at this time. No measured rain for anybody, although we are gonna see increasing clouds soon. I know we don't have a whole lot of clouds. We just have sunset colors here to look at right now, save for a few high level cirrus right there. But other than that, like I said, increasing clouds are coming at the end of the day. All right, you may have noticed that, well, it was a bit breezy today. Nothing to really uh, knock your socks off, but still, it's definitely something uh, that was noticeable. It probably felt pretty good. At least it felt pretty good, if you ask me. And especially if you're driving like on an east-west road or something like that, you may have noticed that the, the car would buff it a little bit with some of those decent little gusts with all of that wind for today. All right, we've got a bit going on in the tropics. We are not done yet, believe it or not. I know, but at the end of the day, here is subtropical storm Patty. You can see just a little bit there, a little bit of a swirl and some affiliated, very uh, external, you know, convection, if you will. But Patty is barely there, at least in terms of the field itself. Sure, it is, but barely. And it's basically kind of undergoing that non-tropical transition. It's not even, it wasn't even tropical to begin with, but it's just kind of beginning that weakening process as it moves away from the Azores toward the Iberian Peninsula. That's right, you heard me right, Spain and Portugal. Okay, so let's talk about potential tropical system number 18, that disturbance we were talking about that was kind of slow to gain steam even though it had the odds in its favor. Well, lo and behold, here we are. Now, basically what's gonna happen is you notice that it, we have a lot of good, reliable forecast data that's now coming in. And as it does so, as we see this good information, we now have reason to believe that this forecasted track is going to take future Raphael on a northwestward track, you know, it's kind of skirting the western tip of uh, Jamaica there, western Cuba, and eventually entering the Gulf several days from now. Now, whether we're on the wet eastern side or we're on the drier western side, that all still remains to be seen. There's still some uncertainties here. But basically, right now, we've got a lot of shear, we've got colder water in the Gulf, a lot of things that ought to keep future Raphael at bay. So you can expect Raphael, more likely than not, to remain a weak storm, even if it approaches us here in South Mississippi. So, you know, basically, since we are staying, keeping Raphael weak, we still, we could get some much needed rain, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day Raphael should remain weak. All in all. All right, for tonight, 73, making our way all the way down, 67 for tonight's low. Warm day tomorrow, mostly cloudy with increasing clouds. A rogue sprinkle is possible as you plan your day. You notice as they come in for the polls, a stray sprinkle is possible. Like I said, maybe a few sprinkles in time for election day, but don't expect any problems there. You're looking all good. The week ahead, though, well, there's a little bit of uncertainty as we come into the tropical picture for Thursday and Friday onward.